This session is designed to provide advanced training on the use of the Hutch ELD. You should have already watched the Hutch ELD hardware overview and the Hutch ELD basic training videos prior to watching this session. If you have not yet watched the Hutch ELD hardware overview and the Hutch ELD basic training video, please do so before this video. The Hutch ELD is a sophisticated mixture of software and hardware designed to fully comply with the FMCSA 2017 ELD mandate. It is also designed to present to the end user a simple interface that takes very little time to learn and use. When you become familiar with the Hutch ELD, it will consume less of your time than your paperwork does today. Now that you have gained a basic understanding of the Hutch ELD and its operation, we will now dive deeper into the various menus, operations, and status indicators of the Hutch ELD. As you learned in the basic training video, there are three main menus located on the daily log screen, or homepage, of the ELD. We will dive deeper into the systems menu first. The system menu is located on the top left of the screen. If you select the system menu, and then select ELD, you will find the following icons representing various functions related to the ELD. Daily Log Create Event Violation History Driver Profile Inspect Daily Log Edit Request Unidentified Data Certify Log inspector mode. When you select daily log, you will find your daily log grid. It displays the four main duty statuses. Off duty, sleeper berth, driving, on duty. You can change your duty status at any time the vehicle is not moving. To change your duty status, stop your vehicle and press the driver status wheel on the left of the daily log screen. Here you will find the list of available duty statuses. Off means off duty. SB means sleeper berth. D means driving. On means on duty. If you have special categories enabled, PC means personal use of commercial vehicle or personal conveyance. YM means yard moves. If you wish to change to on duty, you will simply press on. If you wish to enter an annotation or note, you can press the annotation field and a keyboard will pop up. Simply enter your notes and press save. You may also select one of the common annotations provided by simply pressing on it. These annotations will accompany your duty status change within your log record. You are not required to enter an annotation. Some drivers prefer annotations to help recall their daily activity prior to certifying their log. Now that we have saved an on-duty duty status change, you will notice that the log grid has now marked you to on-duty status. Each time you change your duty status, the grid will update to the status you have selected. If you need to create a duty status change for any reason, you may do so by selecting Create Event. Press on the Event Type field and select the duty status such as on-duty. Odometer and engine hours will autofill. Enter the location description, such as drug testing facility in Everett, Washington. Enter comments such as random drug and alcohol testing. This is particularly helpful if you need to enter an event where you were on duty but did not have the ELD available at this time. If you select violation history, you will be presented with a list of past hours of service violations. If you select Driver Profile, you can review all of your driver info such as DL number, cell number, and any special categories you may have assigned to your ELD profile. If you select Inspect Daily Log, you will be able to review previous logs by using your finger by sliding from left to right. You will be able to view your grid and a list of all different events and duty status changes by using your finger to scroll down the screen. You may edit a daily log by simply pressing on the log entry that you wish to edit as shown. A red edit box will appear. Press the red edit box and you will be prompted to enter the new details. Press the event type field and select the new event type such as editing on duty to off duty. 
Odometer and engine hours will autofill. Enter location details if it was not autofilled. You must enter at least a four character comment when editing any logs. This is mandated. If you do not enter any comments, the ELD will not allow you to save the edit. Please note that you are never allowed to edit actual drive time. This is also mandated. Each daily log that is being viewed will also identify whether or not it has been certified yet. An uncertified log will show on the lower right hand corner of the screen as an X in the certify icon and a certified log will show as checkmark in the certify icon. You may certify any uncertified logs by simply pressing the X in the icon and then answering the mandated certify pop-up screen as shown. The edit request function is where you find a request to edit logs that may have come from your fleet manager. The office is allowed to ask you to accept a log edit request. If they do, you will see the requests here. The ELD will present you with the details of the request. And because the ELD mandate is very clear that you, the driver, are responsible for your own logs, you have the ability to accept the request by pressing the thumbs down button, or you may reject the request by pressing the red X button. The Identify Data selection is where you find any logs that were saved because the truck was operated without a driver logged into the ELD. For example, if you started the truck but were not logged into the ELD, the system would have saved the engine power up event to an unidentified driver record. You will be able to see this record here. To assume the record, simply press on the circle, you may press one or more, then press the yellow proceed button on the lower right of the screen and that record will always get merged into the log on the day the event occurred. It is highly recommended that this always remain empty. If you see any unidentified events, you should examine them and assume them into your record as soon as possible. If you select the Certify button, you will be presented with a list of logs not yet certified by you. To certify a log, press the circle next to the log, you may select one or more, press the yellow Certify button, and then answer the federally mandated Certify pop-up screen accordingly. Again, your goal would be to ensure this area is always empty by certifying your logs daily. Inspector mode is a selection to allow a roadside inspection of your ELD. If an officer asks you to view your ELD, you will press this icon, note you must be on duty to select it, and the ELD will instantly lock down and allow the inspector only to see what the mandate allows for. He can see your previous logs as per the legislation and allow your DVIR as per legislation. The inspector will not be able to see any other data that is not allowed within the legislation. In order to go back to the normal ELD mode, you will need to select Logout by going to the system menu and selecting Logout. Then you will be prompted to log back into the ELD, restoring the normal functionality of the system. The system status icons are a very important part of the ELD. The system status icons can be seen along the top of the daily log screen, but are also visible throughout any of the locations without the system, even on the gauge cluster while driving. The system status icons provide the driver with critical information to determine if the system is operating correctly. The icons from left to right are as follows. Active driver icon. If the active driver is logged in, it will be green. If the co-driver is logged in and not currently the active driver, it will be red. GPS receiver, green if ELD sees satellites, red if it does not. Cellular signal, green if ELD has good cell service signal, red if it does not. Hutch servers, green if ELD is connected to the server, red if it is not. BTB Bluetooth bridge, green if ELD is connected to the truck computer, red if it is not. Battery. Green if battery charge is sufficient, red if it is not. Always keep your ELD charged. DVIR. Green if your truck vehicle inspection has been completed, red if it has not. Log certify. Green if your log books have been certified, red if they have not been certified. TPMS if equipped. Green if all tire pressures are good, red if one or more is not. It is normal for some of these icons to turn red from time to time. 
If one remains red for a determined amount of time according to the legislation, the ELD will trigger a malfunction indicator. This indicator will show up as a red square or circle in any screen in the system. If you see this red indicator lit, you must start using paper logs and report the malfunction to your manager immediately. The Hutch ELD also allows for team drivers. In order for team drivers to use the ELD, they must both be logged into the ELD at the same time. To do this, the initial driver will be logged into the system. Your co-driver will press the common task button in the lower right of the screen and select switch user. He will log in using his own credentials. The driver name found on the top right of the screen is the driver that the current daily log being viewed belongs to. You will notice, however, that the very first status icon we learned about is red now. This means the person logged into the ELD is not the active driver and should not be operating the vehicle. The non-active driver can now view his logs and other data within the ELD. When the vehicle is moving, the gauge cluster will not appear. This allows viewing co-driver information even while the vehicle is in motion. The system is still logging all the drive time and other data for the active driver. When the vehicle comes to a stop, you can change active drivers. The current active driver must not be in driving or personal use in order to switch the other driver to the active driver status. To completely log out of the ELD, you must change your duty status to off duty, then select the system menu, scroll down to log out, and press it. If there's any uncertified logs, it will prompt you. If you're ready to log out, simply press yes, and you will be logged out of the ELD. Please note, if you are going into sleeper berth and are still in care and control of the vehicle, you would not log out. The only time you want to completely log out of the ELD is when your trip is complete and you are going home. Thank you for taking the time to view the Hutch Advanced ELD training video.